Half of the time I didn't even enjoy the ride because I was melting. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. It's basically a mini vlog and just me sharing my experience on when I went hot air ballooning because it costs a lot of money and there's a few things that like I wish I knew before I actually went there. But I'm just here to just share my experience. And if you guys wanna know a little bit more about um, hot air ballooning, please do continue watching the video. So I went to this great place called Drakensberg Ballooning. They even give you a certification after the hot air balloon ride it was my birthday so they wrote me this cute letter guys isn't that sweet of them so they wrote me this cute letter and it's like a family business so like afterwards you get breakfast um so you like chill with the family to tell you about like the place and where it started and all that so it was really nice so i started with getting there so this place is one and a half hours away from peter maritzburg so it's about two and a half hours away from um durban so it's quite a distance but there is accommodation there so the accommodation guys so you either choose from a backpacker or like the lodges so obviously i chose the lodges because it wasn't that pricey it was around i'm not even gonna guess i'm just gonna put the price here so it wasn't like that bad but can i tell you that when i got there guys like i was traumatized i'm glad that i was staying there for one night because the accommodation was so i didn't even vlog that part because i was just like what the hell is this like why would you and i'm glad because it was during like december so i literally slept on top of the bed like i put i took my towel then like i just wrapped myself in like my clothes and my coats and stuff like that because <laughs> that place was so shady guys yo even when i was showering like i showered obviously i always bring slops i showered with my slops on i was just like i need to get out of the place so i I'm in the ghetto. Yeah, accommodation, I'd suggest you book somewhere else, but not the actual place where they have the hot air balloon because it's really not worth it. Unless you don't mind because you're literally there to just go on the hot air balloon like me. But if you're actually coming for a holiday and you want to chill around Drakensberg, do not get that accommodation. The second thing I want to talk about is how early you have to wake up. So as I said, I went during December. So the sun rises earlier because right now it's like June, July. So the sun rises at like seven, like half past six vibes. But during December, the sun rises at like flipping half past five, five o'clock. I, I can't remember, but I just remember that I had to like wake up early because obviously it's like a sunrise um hot air balloon they don't have sunsets because the, the sun will set and then you're in the dark and like how does that work you see so just choose the seasons you want to go in properly unless you don't mind waking up because i mind and it was painful the third point i want to raise is the actual experience so you, I had two options. So you could either do like the game reserve view, which was 3,200 South African rands, or you can do like the normal view ones, which was 2,500. So obviously I like took the normal one because who's going to play 3,200 for like a hot air balloon ride. But with that, actually, I looking back, I actually would have taken the game reserve one just because like you could probably like see animals from like the top and that would have been more interesting because guys if you know like the Drakensberg there's not much views and there's not much mountains like I'd understand if it's like over Cape Town and stuff like that but you literally just see fields and let me just like show you guys you know it's not bad but i mean it could have been better especially with the price i'm paying for like i want to see 
proper views like breathtaking views and stuff so mm, with that uh, like i'd probably suggest the game reserve one or just going like somewhere else to actually hot air balloon getting onto the basket guys it's a literal basket there's no door for you to open like you have to jump onto it so i was wearing a jumpsuit so like thank god i was comfortable but you can't go there wearing dresses and cheap blazer and looking all like great because you are gonna struggle like you have to like climb onto that basket so just take note of that point number five is that it is hot up there i was literally melting guys my hair was melting i remember half the time i have to i had to be looking back at that thing because if i turn around like i had makeup on and my face would melt like i was melting so that thing is extremely hot so i suggest not going on a hot day maybe like a nice cold winter morning you know is the best because you are gonna die of heat like half of the time i didn't even enjoy the ride because i was melting and so the actual entire experience it was it was okay it's not that scary well it was scary a bit because you're literally in this basket and there's like uh one two three four other people with you so it's like and if somebody moves we all feel it you know so that is a bit scary like don't go with people who like joking around or, or who are drunk and stuff like that because you guys will flip and tip over and die um, so. so the next point is that when you're booking at this specific place i'm not sure if it's like all hot air balloon right you have to book in like even numbers or in groups so i went there with my sister and she couldn't go because it was a four basket there was already three other people and they only had one more space then the next basket they had was eight people so the guy was literally like only one of you guys can go or you come with four other people to make it eight you know but i did book like two days before because i'm indecisive like that so either book way in advance that you do get like the amount of people you want to go on the ride or like booking groups because it's going to be awkward then also after the trip like you guys land and then they pop open some champagne some mcc actually some sparkling wine actually because it was jc and you guys just look at the views and the field and you chill out and stuff so it's really for like couples i think it is like a romantic thing you can take your partner on if you're just going there for a good time not a long time i suggest a different experience honestly i've been abseiling i've been bungee jumping i've been parasailing and stuff so with that i feel like those experiences are better just because maybe of the places i actually did it it's more like it's better views and those are more like adrenaline rushing experiences so unless you more of a chill person this is definitely for you but if you for adventure and for trying things uh, like i would suggest something else it's like not it's like yes i can take it off my bucket list but it's not that great it's not that like juicy and interesting it's okay so what would i rate the whole experience i'd probably rate it a six out of ten I would still suggest you guys try it out if you are for more chilled, romantic, you know, vibes. Because you can still have fun on this thing. So that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope it just will help you in deciding if you want to go on a hot air balloon or not. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You don't wanna see me dancing with somebody